right here. And uh, no, we've got Richard. Uh, their last name is Olivas, like me. Now, how you like that, man? Call anyway. me Mr. Olivas. Mr. Olivas, all Olivas is over here. Never. Can't be that, huh? I'll go tell you. All right, gang. This is WWJ whipping with Joe. This is all Olivas is here. I'm Joe. Yeah. I'm Rich. And I'm John. All right. Oh, they're on top there. <laughs> anyway, okay. <coughs> We're in the good zones. Okay. Normally, I always throw where you get white water. That's important. And I always tell people, the big fish is not out there. People say, oh, the big fish is out there. No, they're not. Right. I believe, well, what I've learned is the fish is right near this white water. Because what we're looking for is we're looking for a fish that's ready to feed. Right. And when he's going to feed, he's going to come right in this pocket. You see all this white water, he'll come right in. Why? Because there's all this small... Small little fish, the bait fish. That's where the bait fish at. If you was a bait fish there, you'd be dead. And, they, and, they, and they, so this is where you want to throw. You want to throw this in this area right inside here. Not too close there, but you can watch how the water goes. So you would throw that portion, and you can watch your lure. If your lure goes too more far to the right, then you want to go closer to the left. So I'm going to throw one. So that will be one, one avenue right in this pocket, right inside here. Close to here. Not out there. You can, but normally you won't bite out there. They're going to bite right in front of you. Okay, so you can, I'm going to go to your left, I'm going to, sh I'm going to show you how I throw and pop. Remember, you got to push and pull. Yeah, well, we, so we say where, the, where, where the, the surge is. That's where you at. So you, you know very well the water's going here from left to right, so you can't throw too far to that side because of the reef. So you, you, you're just going to throw, it's by, by, uh, by uh, I guess, um, trial and error where the lure goes because the water's moving too, if it's yeah. moving. So the, if, the further, the, if you throw the lure there and the lure goes to the right, then you gotta throw further to the left. Okay, so let me throw this one here. You won't be able to throw that far, but that's me. That's my technique. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I'm serious. I, I, people don't, don't realize how far I can throw. Yeah. They think nobody can throw that far. I say, well, you come with me, you see how far. Okay, so this is what you do. You, whenever you crank and you pop it. So it's on the top of the water. Most of the time you see the fish come out of the water and pop it. And then you see the splash, the line will go out. Now the rod, the rod is 20 degrees to the lure. The reason is because when it bites, all you do now is from here to 12 o'clock, you've already set the hook. Okay. okay? Uh -huh. So if it strikes, what you want to do is, when he strikes, you want to lift the rod up close to 12 so you can give him... Just hold it up. Yeah, you let him run. You don't try to fight him. You wait until he stops running. Okay, so I'll do another one. Yeah, it's a push and pull. Put a pull tie out there. I bet he did. Uh, well, I don't know. Somebody told me about that. I put a tire over there. Try to find an outside. No. Okay, so we're pretty close to where it's at. Because like I said, if it's going to strike, it's going to strike right before this white water. Because he knows that's where it's going to be gone. If you don't take it now, he will be gone. So he's got to pop it. Now if you want to practice, you can throw straight across if you want to. So, so our, who, who wants to do first? I'm going I'm to separate both. You can have one right over here. John's first. Okay, go ahead. And then, uh, let's see, Richard, you can come on this side. Uh, you can come on this side, Richard. We'll, 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 we'll watch John first there and see how he does. There we go. Oh yeah, the bail is manual, all manual bail. Oh yeah, by the way, the, the bail is all manual. All these whipping ones, is their manual bail. And as soon as you crank, it's bought, bought back. No, 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 you gotta do it manually. Oh. And, and, yeah, all whipping uh, uh, reels are that way. Why? Because you don't want a premature bail and lose a lure. So you always watch the waves. Look, uh, the, side, the, the thing, I normally fish going like low tide coming up. Now the tide is going low. Okay, but how to, uh, I didn't go over, you can come on this, and then go talk about how to not snag. Yep, go ahead, yeah. Oh yeah, John, sorry about that. I think the question was how you get it not snagging. Okay. So how you keep it, yeah. What you want to do is you want to keep it like a foot away from a the foot. swivel. Okay. So how you keep away from snagging is when you're retrieving, and you, so, so you always got to watch your lure. When you watch the lure, you got to watch the waves. Because what you want is, see what I see a lot of people do is when the wave recedes, they're trying to get the lure in. That's the wrong thing to do. 
Yeah, you, so what you have to do is you wait until the wave comes, and then you bring the lure on top of it, now you got a lot of water. Bring it right on over. Bring it on top of the water, because the, the, the lure will float, so all you can do is wait, and then time it, then when it comes, you just crank over. Yeah, don't, don't take it when the wave goes down, there's no water there, it's all rocks. <laughs> but that's a technique for it. No, no, it's pretty simple, I think. <laughs> There you go. You got in there? Yeah, you gotta uh, do the bail bump. You got it? Okay. Yeah, see, so you're jerking. Remember, well, it's real smooth. Whenever you crank it, you poop. poop. <laughs> you just gotta get the rhythm. You get the rhythm. Yeah, just keep, whenever you crank down, the other one gotta come up. Okay? Okay, I'm gonna have you, I, I'll put you over there. You, you okay? Good job. Okay, I'm gonna have Richard come this way. Come on, Richard. Look. Watch your step. 